The biggest news so far at the position is that Keenan Allen is expected to return to the Chargers. There was lots of rumblings early on that he might get cut, be a cap casualty. At the Combine, Tom Telesco, the GM, shutting those down completely. Keenan Allen isn't going anywhere, he says, and then he restructures Allen, his contract alongside Mike Williams, to ensure he is going nowhere. That's huge news. I know he had a down year. He was hurt, missed seven games, and now everyone, you know, he's old, he's hurt, he's never going to make it through a full season anymore. I mean, entering last year, this guy was the model of consistency. He played 78 out of 81 games. He had been a top 12 fantasy receiver in five straight seasons, 100-plus receptions in four of those five, 1,100 yards in four of those five. If last year's injury was fluky, which I think it was, given that, he, again, 78 of his last 81 games for Keenan Allen, then we got ourselves a top 12 receiver that you're right now an underdog getting in round five. I absolutely love Keenan Allen at his 56 ADP. I've taken him at that round four turn, 48-ish range. I, I love him. I think he has easily top 12 upside, given that when he actually was on the field last year, played the final eight games, he averaged 20.9 PPR points per game Keenan Allen did last year. Only Justin Jefferson and Cooper Cup had more than 20 PPR points per game last year. So Keenan Allen, I am still in love with. I think he is one of the biggest steals of the draft now that we know he's not leaving uh, this offense. That, as I keep saying, Kellen Moore is going to be there. This offense has already been great. I think this offense is going to go to extreme new heights in 2023 under Kellen Moore's direction with Justin Herbert slinging that thing around, lighting up the scoreboard. I think Keenan's a huge part of that and one of the biggest steals of fantasy drafts on best ball right now. Another huge value is Calvin Ridley. He's reinstated. He has seemingly learned from his mistakes, wrote a huge sorry to the NFL and recognizing how dumb it was what he was doing. I respect it. And I respect even more Calvin Ridley's game. Last time he was on the field, top 10 wide receiver. Fantasy-wise, just eyeball test-wise, the guy is silky smooth. Every layer of the field gets it done. I'm a huge fan of Calvin Ridley, and I'm a big fan of this Jags team as a whole. I think Doug Peterson is doing a phenomenal job with them. Trevor Lawrence really seemed to turn that corner last year. I think he's going to be that bona fide can't miss prospect everybody was alluding to. Yeah, Urban Meyer made us question that just a little bit. I think it's very, very clear at this point that this guy, Trevor Lawrence, is going to be a stud. And Calvin Ridley is going to be his alpha. I mean, he is a monster. Last time we saw him out, like I said, top six wide receiver for the Falcons. He's already calling for a 1,400-plus yard year with, with uh, Trevor Lawrence. So big, big fan, Calvin Ridley. It does hurt you know, Zay Jones, Christian Kirk a little bit, who's going to still be a great slot weapon. But ultimately, there's only so many mouths to feed here, and I think Calvin Ridley is going to be the biggest slice by a lot. Him versus Keenan Allen is an interesting debate. I, I typically side with Ridley just for the talent, the sending offense. Uh, I, I'm going to go Ridley there. Big, big fan of him returning. What is up, you fantasy wolf? Thanks so much for tuning in. If you haven't already, share your thoughts in the comments. Check out some more videos and join the newest Wolfpack by subscribing below. Ooh.